Hi everybody, Lisa here with another Revere Bradley bag of the day. Um, thought I would try to squeeze in another quick video because I was super excited to share some stuff that um, that that I have. Um, it's sort of related to wallets. One of them is a wallet, so since it's Wednesday, I thought I would try to do it on Wednesday to sort of tie it into Wallet Wednesday because people know sometimes I do. <laughs> I try to do Wallet Wednesday. I haven't done one in a while. But I also thought I'd talk real quick about um, about my bag of the day, too, which is the Carson Hobo, which I've talked about in other videos, and I'll try to put those links down in the video description here um, in case I forget to mention something about the bag. Um, but I, I do love it so much, and I... Um, this one was one that I got it for a good deal in the online outlet sale and was able to use up um, the last of a gift card that I had for myself. Uh, people have seen some of my other recent videos, you know, my my uh, buying process now because I'm cash poor. I get myself gift cards from my credit card points. <laughs> um, and this was a good deal. I don't remember how much I paid, but it's a very good deal on the online outlet sale. And the pattern is Indio, which is retired. I know the bag style is retired too, of course, but it still pops up an online outlet sale. So I thought I, you know, people might be interested to get a look at it or the pattern. Um, initially, I was drawn to this pattern because it's blue, and I, I do prefer blue um, in my patterns. But when I saw it actually in person, uh, I hesitated and I wasn't sure anymore how I felt about it. But um, I had always liked the lining. And so when it was so such a good price in the online outlet sale, knowing that I liked the lining, I decided I'd get it. I, In a recent video, I think it was the Butterfly Flutter um, Hadley on the Go satchel video. <laughs> I talked about linings and how I'm not if, I'm not crazy about that particular lining, uh, but that won't put me off buying a bag if I don't like the lining. However, if I like the lining, it might push me over the edge a little bit to get the bag. <laughs> so I think that there was definitely a factor here. Um, so I can show the lining too, and I'll put the bag on. I'll give some measurements, and I'll put the bag on real quick. Uh, so people can get an idea of how it looks. But I, I just love this pattern. Um, love that inky blue. It's like, it's very rich, it's luscious, kind of uh, saturated, heavily saturated uh, blue. Um, this reminds me of like squid ink or something. And then within the swirls, I love the big exaggerated wild swirls like a overblown kind of paisleys and very organic looking because within the swirls are these is the detail work which is very like organic there are a lot of organic looking forms leaves and flowers and things this is very pretty up here and it's done almost looks like batik or like um wax resist technique was used i mean I'm, obviously i don't think that they're using that technique that would be very labor intensive um, to pr produce fabric that way but I'm sure that you know they're mimicking that look on, when they generate this design probably on a computer they're very uh, looks like foliage you know done very loosely like like it's but done by hand kind of flower looking element there and there's leaves in this swirl so, I mean, that that did appeal to me. All the little details appealed to me in combination with the color uh, sold me on it. And then the lining, which looks very much like Splash Dot. Splash Dot uh, was a light nut, retired light nut fabric. And I just love this pattern. I mean, I love this painterly paint splatter look. Um, love the lighter splatters in the big white dots. So this one doesn't have those those little splatters, but it does have the white dots. And you can see. So that just kind of made it a no-brainer for me. Like it's such a good price. I know I love the lining, so I'll just I'll get it. I know I love the bag style. 
I am still, you know, like mourning the loss of this bag style. I think it's a great bag style. I mean, I like a, a slouchy bag. But also, it shows off the pattern so nicely. I mean, there's no straps interrupting the body of the bag. There's no pockets uh, cutting up the fabric. So I think it's beautiful for showing off fabric. Um, you're more likely to not miss out on a part of the pattern you might be trying to get. Or if there are animals in the pattern, they're less likely to be... Some might be cut off, but you're, you're likely to get the elements that you're looking for. If you think about like the fox forest pattern, which this style came in, this pattern came in. So the top of the bag opening, I think is about 12. Uh, I think top to bottom is about 13. So they're all approximate, you know. The strap drop, the shortest strap drop, meaning when I just hold it like this and there's no slouch across the top, that's about 10 inches. And this is the, the length of the strap that I tend to use it at. Oh, before I forget, the base is nine by seven, but it's not removable. It's soft and it's not removable. I haven't washed any of my Carson, so I don't know how it will go through, but I think I would. I don't think I would hesitate to wash it. I would imagine that if you look at an online outlet sale and they still have some Carsons, offer some Carson hobos, they probably have the washing instructions there. Um, metal zippers on this, unfortunately, both in the top and this vertical zip pocket, which I think is sort of oddly placed. Um, so the strap, uh, the shortest strap length, and the, the strap is removable, um, and it adjusts from about 24 to about, I think it was 41, but when I give those measurements, so it may differ from what you would see on a website because I am including this. Part. I'm including this, the hardware and this tab that attach that the hardware attaches to, because that adds length. I mean, that adds a good at least two inches, and that might help people out if they need a little bit more length and they want to wear this crossbody or something. Um, so I'll just put it on before I take my stuff out. This tends to be the way I the, the way I wear it and the strap length that I always have it set to, always. I tend not to use it as a crossbody, but I can put it on that way so people can see. So you can see it slouches on the top and then this strap drop length increases. I just like the look of it when it slouches, both from this side and from this side. There's something about the way it breaks here. It's just very nice and it has a sort of longer rectangular look, vertical rectangle look that I tend to like and feel like looks a little elegant. You can see, even though it's a little bright, the light on it is a little bright, it's sort of, it's pretty accurate and it's inky. You can see how nicely saturated that color is. I think it's, it's very appealing. So the vertical zipper is here, and that's why I think it's odd, because this is the right, this is the front in a way. I mean, I will always put the bag on this way because this is where the zipper pull is. So you want that here because it's easiest to access. Again, if you were wearing it here, I would put it this way, you know, so I can access that, that zipper. When you do that, this is in the back. That's very awkward. How am I supposed to access that? You know, I have to pull this all the way around. So I don't get that placement at all, why this is on this side of the bag. Um, anyway, so that, it is what it is. <laughs> so this... Like I said, this strap is removable and easily adjustable. The hardware is nice. It has a, the metal uh, buckle has uh, rounded edges, so they're soft, which is nice. So let's see. Maybe a little, still a little high. Slide it down. I tend to like my crossbodies a little hang a little bit low. Not sure why that is. So you can see. He didn't do anything. Relax. You're a nut. Sorry. <laughs> uh, nothing like crazy dogs. 
all my dogs have always been crazy. So, I mean, you know, it, it, it looks okay. And I do tend to like a, a, a longer, narrower crossbody. But, um, so I like this shape. But I, 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 it's, I would sooner use it as a shoulder bag. I mean, I would only do this when I, in a situation where I really needed my hands for something. I didn't want this slipping off my shoulder. You know, Peaches, you're in my spot now. <laughs> She's so touchy. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll, I'll just empty my stuff out and show the interior configuration, but it's pretty basic. Um, and then I can get on to my, the second part of my video. <laughs> so I have my normal stuff in here, which is my uh, iPad mini wallet. It's all together crossbody, which I removed the strap from. You can remove the strap. And I just have been using it as a wallet. And my usual pouch is my charger cord pouch and my GPS pouch, which is not Vera. Shh. <laughs> and last but not least, which gets me to the next part of my video, is if people have seen my the recent Cat's Meow video I did, you know that one of the things that I got was the Carson um, cell phone crossbody because I recently got my first uh, smartphone. And so I wanted something to slip it in. And, you know, that, that seemed like a, a safe thing to order sight unseen pattern-wise with the cats that, you know, you get a good selection of cats there with maybe not too many bad decapitations. And I really like that item. So I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel like it might be like potato chips where you can't eat just one, you can't have just one. <laughs> and so with the recent new... Um, Mickey uh, Disney release. I, I decided just to get a little something in it, and so that's when I got the other cell phone, the the cell phone crossbody in that pattern. Another one. This is the, again the Carson cell phone crossbody. Now this pattern, if people aren't aware, came out sort of there two together. Um, the exterior pattern, the main pattern, which was, I think, Mickey's Whimsical Paisley. Um, and then the lining pattern, which is Whimsical Balloons, which they're also using on the exterior of some items. And that was the, pa the pattern that really appealed to me because, um, as I said in my other, my first uh, video about a Disney pattern, I tend to like the, um, some of the older patterns that are a little more subtle in their use of the Disney element. The Mickey, they use the Mickey, the silhouettes of Mickey figures or Mickey heads, and they work those elements into the design of the pattern. Whereas the more recent patterns seem to be designed in a different way, where there's a sort of a grand, big background pattern that doesn't have any major. Disney elements in it, and then the Disney figures, very realistically drawn, are plunked on top. And that just seems a little more simplistic in the concept to me. Um, those patterns are still appealing because they're very bright and they're colorful and they're, and they're whimsical, so I, I do get the appeal there. But I never really felt like I, I need to have that. But I saw, so when I saw those balloons, that sort of reminded me, the whimsical balloons kind of reminded me of that. You're just sort of getting that silhouette of the Mickey head, and I will show, will show that. Um, then I thought, okay, well, I'll, just to a little taste of the, you know, recent pattern, I'll get something, and I did have a little bit left on a gift card, so <laughs> I really am going to have to order some more gift cards now for myself. Um, so anyway, I, I, I took a chance at this because, you know, I'm not, I didn't go to Florida. Everyone knows you can only see it live at the Disney Springs store in Florida. And so uh, I knew I didn't get any pattern placement help with this. Um, and so I took a chance. And what I had been hoping to get was the castle because the castle is worked into this. The, uh, the Disney World castle is in this design and I thought it would be nice to have that front center. I was more interested in that really than the Mickey figures. Um, 
But when I saw the Mickey figures here, I thought, well, that's that's a pretty good deal, so I'm, I can't complain. And this is a good figure on the front. And also, you see him reclining on the back. This is the part of the pattern that you know makes use of the castle um, a bit. So I mean, what I do, I do like. I appreciate the background here. I appreciate the paisley uh, swirls here. I think they're nicely done in the sense that they 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 look very loosely rendered, very in a sort of a sketchy way, um, like they've done been done by hand, and or you know with magic markers or something. Um, and so I do like that. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have a bigger item so you get an overall feel of, of the swirls, um, but I'm sure other people will start posting stuff. <laughs> um, I, I particularly like th this, this little spray of this row of flowers. It looks like it's in one of the centers of the paisleys. It's a little bit on this end too. And there are lots of little touches I've noticed in the pattern. Um, like that, that make it very sweet. Again, I, I do wish the figures were worked more into the pattern rather than just looking like they're floating on top as an afterthought. But um, like, when, like I said, when I saw this with the, the two Mickey figures, I thought, well, you can't really complain about that. And so this, um, for people who didn't see the other video, this has a strap, which I removed because I don't, I'm not going to use it as a crossbody, but in the Cat's Meow video, I'll put the link to that. I do put it on with the strap so people who are interested can get a look at what that looks like. But it comes with a strap that has a regular metal buckle, and you just undo it, and it slips out with these two loops under the flap. Um, and so this is the flap. Under the flap, you can see the lining. This is whimsical, paisley. And this was the part that really appealed to me. Um, because it's sort of a little bit more subtle use of that Mickey, that, that classic Mickey head shape, uh, just in, in silhouette in a way. And I like the play of the, the three different colors of the balloons there. And this fabric is that more cotton-like lining, which I was saying in the previous video, her Holland Garden, it may be polyester, but it has a very nice uh, cotton uh, lining. It's not slick like the slippery nylon anymore. So my cell phone, you can see, just fits right in there very nicely. And so the only, there's this one, you know, pocket, this, this, the pocket for the cell phone. There's nothing else in there, no other, no card slots, no, no nothing else in there. And then on the back, there's this slip pocket that goes down to the bottom of the bag. So, like I had mentioned, in my cat's meow video, I was thinking sometimes I might want to just use this as a clutch. Or I can put my cell phone in there and just have a pin snap, pin snap closure, which I'm not crazy about because, like I said in the other video, I put my phone in there. I'm not gonna. I don't want to put it screen out, you know, and then press on this snap because you really have to press on the snap to get it to work. So if I think I'm going to be closing it, I mean, a lot of times in my bag, I'll just leave it flap undone. But if I know I'm going to be closing it, I'll put the screen to the cell phone facing back. And then I don't feel as, you know, bad about working that snap. Um, but sometimes I thought I would want to use this just as a clutch without, if I'm not taking a bag and I'm just going somewhere and I just want to hold this. And then what do I do for a wallet? I don't want to have to take another thing. And so in, my other, in the Cat's Meow video, I was cramming the Gen zip ID in there and does fit, but it's a little tight. Well this uh, regular, the regular zip ID um, slips in there perfectly. And when I saw that this, you know, had the, on the exterior has the whimsical balloons, I thought, well, this is a good item and it's not very expensive. I don't remember how much it was either, 15 or 20 straight retail. Um, I know that they the Disney pattern items are a little bit more expensive than the non-Disney patterns. I noticed that. <laughs> Just going to get you coming any way they can. Um, so you can see the pattern there and the colors. Those colors are pretty, I feel like they're pretty accurate. Maybe blowing out just a little bit because my light here. And then through the window, you know, I thought that was good. You know, that's pretty good pattern placement. And I did get help 
with this one over the phone, the pattern placement. So I, I really appreciate the ladies at the store who helped me. Um, and again, you know, the lining is in there. So the lining is the Mickey Whimsical Paisley. So it's kind of in reverse, you know. And so there's this piece in, in, in between of fabric separating the, you know, ID window, back in the ID window, and then there's this, it creates this other section. I mean, but I, I don't want to put anything there. I mean, the whole point was to get a nice part of the pattern, so, <laughs> so it shows. But anyway, this item slips in here so much better than the Gen Zip ID. Um, which again, like I would consider using if I needed a little bit bigger thing, but I mean that just slips in there, you know, perfectly. I mean it stays in there pretty good too. And I guess you could remove this if you were concerned, uh, or tuck it in. Or I guess you could, like I said in the cat's meow video, you could leave the strap on and work it, thread it through there, and then they would always be attached to each other. But uh, that I won't, I won't bother doing that. This is fine for me if I'm going to use it this way, like as a clutch. So I thought that was neat that this particular item fits in there really well. Then I had a crazy moment because I I never use these lanyards. I I figure out some way to use it as a toggle or something. But I I had been looking on eBay at past pattern lanyards from the Disney line because I just I couldn't help myself. I wanted this loop. This. Uh, Mickey shaped ring, which I, I find some way to use. Maybe I'll put it on my regular keychain, uh, use it in that that way. I don't know, but I, I was, I just became obsessed with this for some reason. It's so bizarre because I was never a big Mickey Disney cartoon, uh, you know, fan. Or not that I didn't like them, but I just, you know, wasn't focused on on them that much. <laughs> but I just something about that metal loop. I thought. Oh, that's fun. That's neat. You can't get it anywhere else, so what am I going to do? <laughs> anyway, I'd rather have a new one, and I like this pattern. Um, so I'd rather have it new than getting it on eBay. And Sometimes even when you get new stuff on eBay, it tends to have a weird smell. It's tough to get it out. So, so that's that. And then the, uh, one other thing, which was the first thing that I really did uh, when I saw this pattern release I really wanted was the Riley because... I wanted a nice bit of this uh, whimsical balloons on the outside. I do like the Riley wallet. Uh, my first Vera wallet was a, a Riley and Havana Rose that my husband got me, which I still have. And I use that wallet so much that it's actually faded. <laughs> um, and this is, an, uh, again, lined with the Mickey whimsical paisley. So this is nice when you open it up. Um, you know, you get the lining there, and this again, the ladies at the store are excellent in helping me. I mean, they went to the back, uh, as if I understand it, to look for me um, to help me get this uh, a bit of Mickey there when you open the, the flap there. Because without that, it's kind of um, it's kind of sad. <laughs> um, but here again, you can see the more of the sweet details on, on this whimsical. Mickey's whimsical paisley print. Yeah, a little. It does have the balloons worked into it. And this is a nice thing with these two paisley swirls in the middle of a larger paisley. I really do like that. And these little flowers in the in a swirl. So, um, something else that appealed to me about this also, I think, was the color scheme on this particular one because I do like red and blue uh, and red and a very deep uh, blue and a very deep pink together I think that's a very nice combination so I think that that also kind of pushed me a little bit more towards getting a getting a little something uh, from this Disney release whereas in the past I hadn't felt like I needed it um, in the same way of course I don't need any of this but <laughs> you your ladies know what I'm talking about so I do have a I'll try to find that link and put that down here too to the Riley wallet. I did do the Riley wallet on a, on a previous Wallet Wednesday. Um, but just basically, you know, it, it, it's a 
trifold construction, a pin snap on the flap, and then it opens up. And then there is this additional flap for, for additional card slots. There are a few card slots here, three here. And then I think that I think you get eight or nine on here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, ten on this. And of course your ID window there with with a hole cut out, you know. And bill flap or bill slot, you know, thing there. Hmm. Ooh. A little sticky there, like there's some glue to get going on there. Oh, doesn't seem like anything, just a little sticky. No, I don't feel it at all. That's weird. Okay, so you got, you know, a bill slot there and a, another bill slot. Sorry that it's dark because of the black lining. But on this back bill slot, there's also a zip, which is nice. So you got that secure, you got another secure, like, bill slot there um, with some depth to it. I mean like it, you could definitely put bills in there or other things. Receipt, I would put receipts in there I think. Um, and on the back, yeah. And again this fabric this I mean I don't know if it's all cotton. Maybe maybe even maybe even here. this may even be cotton too. Maybe maybe it's just the same as the exterior fabric so maybe it's all cotton. I don't know. Uh, what the fiber content is. Um, and then on the back, sorry, there is a, a tight, very tight, which I think is good that it's tight. If you want to slip things in there, they're not going to fly out on you. Slip pocket and then a zipper pocket with a gusset on one side. You know. um, again, this is a little bit more than the standard Riley on, on a regular pattern. Maybe like by five bucks or something, ten or five, ten or five or ten bucks maybe. And it has two pin snaps there, so in a way they're making it kind of adjustable for you there. But I've never had a problem with. I've filled this up with cards, and I've never had a problem closing it on the narrower uh, snap option. But they do give you those two uh, snap options there. So, and just to show it again up close. This is the whimsical balloons. So over my my Disney, my little mini Disney <laughs> um, acquisition along with my bag of the day which was the Indio uh, Carson Hobo. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.